Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror film. Silent Hill, Part 2, Revelation. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. At the beginning of the film, a girl named Heather has a nightmare where she runs away from faceless men at an amusement park. As the faceless men approach, she hides in the merry-go-round. Men tied to the carousel's horses scream in pain as Heather watches them in terror. Just then, a black-eyed girl tells Heather that she's unbeatable and that Heather should not enter Silent Hill. Heather is engulfed in flames and wakes up screaming. Her adoptive father, Christopher, enters the room and tells her that it was all a nightmare. Heather claims that the people in her nightmare are calling her to Silent Hill, but he begs her not to go back there. Suddenly, he gets killed from behind by a creature. Heather screams and finally wakes up from the real nightmare. Later, Heather scribbles something in her notebook, probably concerning her dream. During breakfast, it's revealed that in the past, she and her father had changed their identities, residences, hair colors, and other details numerous times to keep running away. As a matter of fact, Heather's name in the first part of the film was Sharon, but to escape the monsters, she had to change her name to Heather. She prepares to go to school for the first time in a new town. Later, Christopher goes through her sketchbook, rips out pages, and puts them in a wooden box with an inscription engraved on it. It turns out that he keeps all of Heather's Silent Hill drawings in an envelope. In a flashback, Heather is born when a demon creates a doppelganger of her that contains the positive part of her soul. After her creation, Heather is transferred to an orphanage in a nearby town, where she's adopted later by a couple, Christopher and Rose. In the previous film, we learned that Heather and her adoptive mother Rose were confined to Silent Hill. Rose discovered a door that allows only one person to return to reality, and by passing through it, she saved Heather. Rose says she is stuck and has no way out. Nevertheless, she tells Christopher to defend her at all costs, because the creatures of Silent Hill will come looking for her. Rose leaves when the portal closes, and Heather returns to reality without knowing what happened. Christopher had lied to her, saying that her mother had died in a car accident. When he picks her up, a locket with a symbol slips from her hand, and here the flashback ends. In the next scene, a stranger approaches Heather and asks if she is alright, but she fends him off and walks toward the school bus. At school, the teacher asks her to talk about herself, but Heather explains that no one should bother to know her name or anything else about her. Then the teacher introduces Vincent, the second new student. Later, there is a public announcement in the crowded hallway, but it fades quickly. Heather looks up, puzzled, only to see the empty hallway and dim lights flickering. She hears kids shouting at someone, and peers inside a classroom to see circling children pushing a girl into an old-fashioned classroom. A faint voice calls her name as she takes another step. The hallway turns into a Silent Hill nightmare corridor. As an armless creature approaches her, Vincent appears behind her, bringing her back to reality. They begin to converse, and she politely declines his offer to meet for coffee. Shortly after, the same strange man who approached her at the bus stop earlier is waiting for her outside. Heather calls her father and informs him of the strange man. They decide to meet at the Happy Burger in the mall. In the process, Christopher realizes that someone is trying to break into the house. Heather waits on a bench in the mall and watches a clown who is delivering a birthday cake to a little girl with the name Heather on the balloon. The clown greets her and dances merrily. Suddenly, everything turns horrible and scary, and Heather sees the words, Happy Birthday, Alessa, on the balloon. The strange man reappears and chases her. Heather walks into a restaurant kitchen and discovers that the meat used to make hamburgers comes from a boy who is tortured and hung like cattle. Heather runs outside and tries to call her father, but receives no response. In the process, the strange man chases her and says he is a detective. He reveals that he's paid to find her by a cult in Silent Hill. The detective reveals that her mother is being held captive in a Silent Hill facility. He adds that the creatures of Silent Hill want Heather to return because they need her. Suddenly, they are attacked by a monster with a sword for an arm, which cuts off the detective's fingers. The detective enters an elevator with Heather, and she starts it. Shortly thereafter, the Silent Hill creature jumps over the elevator. The creature then grabs the detective with its sword hand as Heather runs away. She enters the garbage area, where she is startled by a cleaner. Heather then leaves her bloody jacket on the ground and leaves. When she leaves the school, she discovers that the police have arrived and they have found the detective's body. A police officer claims that he found a bloody jacket. Shortly after, Vincent approaches her and asks what she saw inside. Later, Vincent and Heather take a walk together. Heather frantically tries to contact her father, who does not answer the phone. 
Vincent offers his coat to Heather, who is shivering from the cold. Then, Heather spots Silent Hill priests watching her, but only she can see them. On the bus, Heather and Vincent talk about reality, and he says that his insane grandfather claims there's no distinction between fiction and reality. Afterward, Heather enters the house and looks for her father, but cannot find him anywhere. She notices the words, come to Silent Hill, on the wall, and bursts out screaming in a chicken voice. Vincent bangs on the door and says he heard her chicken screams. Heather recognizes the round emblem and informs Vincent that Silent Hill is the place of her nightmare, which her father warned her not to visit. They check the box with Heather's clippings and also find her pendant, but one side is missing. Heather also finds a gun, which she takes with her. At that moment, the police arrive, possibly in connection with Heather's bloody jacket. She tells Vincent that she has to flee and asks him to help her drive the car because she isn't able to do it. In the car, Heather reads a letter her father wrote for her. Christopher states that he did everything he could to defend Heather. He reveals that when he killed a robber who broke into their house, he actually killed a member of the cult who is assigned to take Heather to Silent Hill. However, Heather has no idea why the cult needs her. It shows that Christopher has written several novels about the creatures and Silent Hill over the years. According to legend, the British established a colonial prison atop a hill that was once a Native American cemetery called the Place of Silent Spirits. The cult has been waiting for the birth of a child who will be the vessel of their deity, hoping to establish a new planet. There is also a newspaper clipping with news of a fire that broke out underground in the old mines of Silent Hill, which had to be abandoned and are still burning today. Christopher believes that the cult tried to kill the demon Alessa by burning her, but the demon retaliated by bringing darkness to Silent Hill. After the story, the two decide to stop for the night at a motel. Vincent tells her that she should not go to Silent Hill, and they exchange hugs, but not hormones. Later, Heather has a dream about the demon Alessa bringing darkness to Silent Hill. Upon awakening, she insists on going to Silent Hill, but Vincent warns her not to. At that moment, he confesses that he is a member of the cult. He was born and raised in Silent Hill, but was sent into the world to take Heather with him. Vincent tells her that returning to the real world is possible for a limited time, as long as sacrifices and pain are paid. He then shows the symbol of the cult, tattooed with a knife on his skin. Vincent informs her that they have been told that the demon Alessa is causing pain to everyone, and that Heather is a part of that evil. But Vincent now believes that Heather is Alessa's innocent part and good self. Then Vincent reveals that his mother is keeping Christopher imprisoned in a shelter under the city. Heather is determined to save her father, so Vincent informs her that she will lead the remaining half of the amulet to do so. Vincent reveals that his grandfather has the other half of the amulet, but he is in the asylum now. In the meantime, the lights begin to flicker, indicating that evil is coming. Vincent wishes to help Heather and accompany her. In the process, darkness in the room begins to dominate and the walls begin to bleed. Since Heather is a part of the demon Alessa, she can allow the darkness within her to invade the normally hidden realm. Suddenly, a creature kidnaps Vincent and leaves Heather alone. The darkness dissolves, and Heather awakens in a Silent Hill hotel room. The road leading to Silent Hill is surrounded by smog and ash. Then she sees a person tied to a pole, with a huge sign saying, Traitor, and it seems that this is Vincent's fate. An old lady approaches Heather and advises her to get out of here. Heather recognizes she is Miss Homeless, the mother of the demon Alessa. In the past, Miss Homeless let the townspeople burn her daughter, whom they suspected of being a witch. As a result, Heather believes that everyone got what they deserved. Miss Homeless reveals that Alessa is not dead, but badly injured. However, her powers have been strengthened as a result of her wrath. The demon Alessa took revenge on the community by implanting the good and innocent part of her soul into an innocent newborn child, who is actually Heather. She was adopted at an orphanage by parents unaware of her past. Miss Homeless asserts that she cannot save her adoptive father unless she also condemns herself. Heather no longer listens to her smelly bullshit and flees as the sky darkens. She enters a building full of dummies, one of which is alive. Then she finds a living girl who then turns into a mannequin. Soon after, Heather discovers another unknown girl about to be eaten by a Silent Hill spider. Heather helps her free herself, but the girls then see the huge spider composed of dummy parts approaching. The spider grabs a dummy's head and incorporates it into itself, after which the head comes to life and screams like a goose. Next, the girls try to escape through an air duct, but the unknown girl is caught while Heather is crawling. The scene shifts to Vincent's mother, who blames her son for betraying her. Vincent claims that Heather is not evil. 
However, his mother thinks he has gone mad, just like his grandfather. So she orders that Vincent be taken to an asylum. In the process, Heather comes out of the mannequin building. Outside, she spots the asylum, where Vincent's grandfather is locked up. Heather goes inside and finds Vincent's grandfather's medical records. She discovers that he is in room 12 and steals the key. In the hallway, a creature jumps on her, and she shoots it in the head. She keeps walking and eventually finds Vincent's grandfather, blind and chained. Heather tells him about the amulet, and he orders her to put it in his hand because he cannot see. Vincent's grandfather recognizes the amulet and says it reveals the truth about things. When Heather asks where the second half is, he says it is inside him and inserts the amulet inside his chest to reconnect the two pieces. The grandfather can see again and says Heather is a demon, so he tries to kill her, but she shoots him down. Now transformed into a monster, the old man pounces on Heather once more and drags her sexy body away. He starts walking down the hallway, and Heather discovers the amulet inside his chest. So she grabs the amulet, which results in reducing the monster to dust and ashes. She now possesses the complete amulet and tries to communicate with the demon Alessa. The other imprisoned patients wake up and try to grab her, but the creature with the sharp arm appears. The creature begins to cut off the arms of the imprisoned without hesitation. In the process, Heather finds a hiding place and soon after discovers that Vincent is being taken somewhere. She then enters a hole that leads to a torture room. Inside, several creatures wield clubs, axes, and butcher knives. Since they are blind, they move only when they hear something. A group of guards take Vincent to the torture room and start attacking the creatures. However, the guards are outnumbered and they are quickly killed by the creatures. After killing the guards, the creatures freeze and move only when Vincent makes noises. Suddenly, Heather appears and asks him where her father is. Vincent reveals that he is at the fairground shrine and that he can help her rescue him. Heather starts to untie Vincent, but by causing noises, she awakens the creatures. Fortunately, they manage to flee unharmed. Outside, Vincent tries to convince her to leave Silent Hill without her father, but she refuses. The two enter a playground, where they are soon joined by some orderly soldiers. Vincent and Heather hide, after which he Tom massages her, before coming out of hiding to attract the soldier's attention. Suddenly, a soldier finds Heather, and she manages to remove his mask. The soldier's face begins to burn, causing him to die. Heather runs to a merry-go-round, which is soon surrounded by flames. The demon Alessa first appears as a child, then as a teenager. The two confront each other, and when they hug, Alessa attempts to kill Heather. On the other hand, Heather declares that she still loves her, causing Alessa to turn to dust, possibly by awakening the innocent side of Alessa. Later, the carousal stops and a door opens in front of Heather. She goes inside and finds her father still bound. Then Vincent's mother appears and reveals that she has to murder Christopher so that his blood can feed the new god that will be born from Heather and be worshipped by the cult. This explains why they need Heather's body and lure her back into the world of Silent Hill. Heather gives Vincent's mother the amulet, claiming that she wants to see who she really is. When Vincent's mother touches it, she turns out to be a monster, like all of Alessa's servants. Next, Vincent's mother attempts to attack Heather, but a pyramid head is summoned and steps in to defend her. The pyramid head manages to throw Vincent's mother into the flames, but she comes back, hitting her opponent in the head. Nevertheless, the pyramid head manages to gain the upper hand and decapitates Vincent's mother. Vincent, Heather, and her father then escape outside. However, Christopher says he cannot leave Silent Hill because he wants to save his wife. He instructs Vincent to take care of his daughter and then leaves. In the final scenes, Heather and Vincent take a ride from a Tesla truck driver and leave Silent Hill for good. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.